Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am Charlie and welcome to Charlie's Cruise Tips and Reviews. So I've been promising this video for a little while. This is going to be cruising solo on Carnival Cruise Lines compared to cruising solo on Norwegian Cruise Lines. Now obviously when you uh, cruise solo it's far different than cruising with your friends and fam family. However, uh, when you cruise with different cruise lines solo, when you travel solo on different cruise lines, you will get a different experience. And this are these are the two cruise lines I've uh, sailed solo most with, Carnival and Norwegian. So these are the two cruise lines I'm going to stick with. I did do it one time in 2009 on Royal Caribbean, but that's before they inst instituted their studio cabin. So I haven't experienced that yet. So I don't want to talk about um, uh, cruising solo on the cruise line I haven't done in a very long time or experienced their new type of studio rooms or a program if they have one. So I'm just, get, just going to stick with Carnival and Norwegian in this video. Now, as I said, cruising different on different cruise lines can be different, but both experiences are enjoyable. Uh, I've had in, in, enjoyable experiences on both Carnival and Norwegian. So I'm going to start with Carnival first. First and foremost, Carnival does not have a dedicated solo travelers program for, or solo cruise or cabins, single cruise cabins like the studio rooms on NCL. So when you do go on Carnival, you are paying double for your room. However, when you do stay in the traditional inside room on Carnival, you still get more space in one of those rooms and the room is a bit bigger than you would on a studio room on Royal Caribbean or on uh, NCL. So just giving you a heads up on that, there is more space in a traditional inside room on Carnival, so you won't feel as cramped as a studio room might. Carnival, though, in the last six, seven, eight years has gone better with uh, seating solo cruisers together at the same dinner table at the uh, traditional dinner times, such as the late dinner seating or the early dinner seating. They have gone better with sitting people together who are cruising solo uh, compared to how they used to do it. Now, if you choose the anytime dinner option on Carnival, this is not going to work out too well for you because you're not going to have a set dinner table or a set dinner time. So if you choose to sit by yourself or with other people, you could end up sitting with anyone. So just keep that in mind, but they have gone better with this. Um, Carnival do, does not have listed, well, they do in their fun times daily, every uh, a scheduled singles meet and greet a couple of times throughout the cruise. However, they don't have any cruise staff there uh, running the actual um, event that is going on that time time of day or time of night on the ship. It's just in the fun times, carnival fun times. They don't have anyone there and there's no mention from it from the cruise director in their announcement. So it's basically um, you go and you hope to meet other people sailing there, cruising by themselves, but half the time no one really goes because there is no emphasis on it by the cruise staff or cruise director or much mention of it at all. Okay. However, um, I did do that one time in 2000, 2010 it was, 2010 on the Car Carnival Liberty. There was the one time there, someone running the, the singles meet and greet that night, and I did meet a couple other people cruising by themselves that night. That was, um, what's the word? It was advertised the first night of the cruise, so people did go to it so but that was the only time that you actually did not have someone there running it okay however over the last 10 years carnival has attracted more solo cruisers and they are trying harder to connect solo cruisers without a formal program so carnival you can still have a very good experience on carnival and i've said many times on carnival if they did institute a solo travelers program i probably would only sail on Carnival, but that's another time, another video for another time. Um, okay, so now I'm going to discuss cruising solo on NCL. Now, Norwegian Cruise Lines, they are the originators of the Solo Travelers program with, and the Studio Cabins, which started on their first sh ship with Studio Cabins in 2009 on the Norwegian Epic. Prior to that, no one, no other cruise line ever attempted it, so they were the innovators at it. And now, 
back then they were still new, so not too many people. It was a new thing. Not too many people started booking the studio cabins because they didn't know what to expect. Now they are the most popular cabins on the NCL ships that actually have them. So they are the first cruise cabins to sell out. So if you do plan on going an NCL cruise and staying in the studio, you better book it early. Otherwise, those do sell out uh, rather quickly. However, they do allow you to book other categories of room that are not studio rooms without having to pay double. You can still get it with the sole uh, single supplement staying in another room. So just keep that in mind. If you can't get yourself in the studio room, you can stay in another room and you can still participate with the Soul Travelers gathering on that cruise. It's open to everyone the first night. It's usually the first night is in um, one of the regular lounges, bars on board the ship. And then they go down to the studio lounge and they usually have it there the rest of the cruise or they have the same meeting point throughout the cruise. And then you head down to the studio lounge after the first five, ten minutes of first few minutes of the meeting time and you head down there so everyone can get into the studio lounge. Um, the studio cabins are smaller than traditional inside cabins on NCO. They're about 99 square feet, but I've stayed in these rooms many times, about I think nine times I've stayed in them, maybe yeah, about nine time nine NCL cruises I have stayed in the studio cabins and there's more than enough room for one person there's enough room for the way it's laid out you have plenty of room you don't have to worry about uh closet space drawer space there is plenty of space so you do not need to worry about that at all and it doesn't feel cramped at all which is pretty good okay um another thing you have with the solo travelers program on nco you have the nightly gathering which i mentioned earlier but it is run by a member of the cruise director staff and you'll have that same person in the cruise from the cruise director staff every night of your cruise. So if the person you meet the first night of the cruise, you will uh, have your gathering with them every night that cruise. And it almost becomes like a little family at the Soul Travelers gathering throughout the cruise. So not everyone goes every night, but for the most part, most people go every night. Now, this person will help you with dinner reservations for uh, the main dining rooms, specialty restaurants, reservations for shows, and they will update you on at any and all solo travelers activities throughout the cruise so they alert they will take care of you and they make sh sure you are very well um integrated with the whole program they make sure you know everything that's going on uh, the studio lounge which i mentioned before are just for people who are staying in the studio cabins however as i said earlier that the solo travelers gatherings meet every night do come in there and they usually leave that opening, that uh, entrance open to the steel lounge. So if you're not staying in the studio rooms, but you're part of the Solo Travelers Gathering, you can every night head on over to it. Um, so the program, one thing though, as I mentioned, it started in 2009 on the Norwegian Epic, has not changed that much. It's pretty much still the same program since then. It has not been updated at all. But then again, if it's, not broke don't fix it 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 really is a great program so there's really no need to change it right now it, unless uh they just decide okay we've been doing this for a number of years let's just and other cruise lines are starting to catch on so we need to make it better so we stand out so in conclusion well uh as i said carnival has no formal specific program for solo travelers solo cruisers or specific cabins for them they have made a much better effort at things and if they ever do add uh the studio cabins or a formal solo travelers program i am sure it will be very well done carnival is known to be one of the last cruise lines to do something they like to do everything right basically they like to do everything right so when they do start something like what they're doing with the Mardi Gras and the celebration coming out next year. They are the last of the major cruise lines to come out with a mega ship because they want to do it right. And I feel it would be the same way with the Solo Travelers program if they do indeed start one. Um, as, as I said, as of right now, NCL does have the better Solo Travelers program and they haven't made any changes to it yet. But 
as I said, it's very well done. There is no need to change it as of now. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, everyone have a good night and good day, good cruising, and I will be back in again very soon. Thank you.